have I got a list for you today to work on. And you know what? I'm going to be right there with you. <laughs> so we need, to, you, we need to see it because you have to work through this, not around it, as the Course says. Right? We have to go through it. Um, you can't do, although a lot of people do try to, do a, what we call a spiritual bypass. Become terrific scholars, right? terrific at quoting stuff all over the shop, right? which would baffle me no end. But where is the walking? Because that's where it's about. Where is the walking? You've got to walk the talk. And it's in that, in, in that vulnerability of walking it, you know? It's not about walking it in a way that's cocky. It's about walking it in a way that's real, which is, you know, I'm still working on stuff. <laughs> These are the things I'm working on, and you'll hear about them over the next few days, that stuff that we're still working on. But it's actually in that, in that proclamation of that that we find our strength to keep going, right? Because it's the proclamation of our... Um, and this is the strange thing of our vulnerabilities that we see as weaknesses, which aren't true. But it's in that proclamation that allows Holy Spirit to come in and say, Ah, thank you. I'll take that from you. I just need your willingness. I'll do the rest. It just needs our willingness. That's all that's required of us. A little willingness. right? And that's all we've got to cultivate is that little willingness. So Nooks wrote a couple more things, the I we think we are, all our beliefs and values. I mean, this is interesting, isn't it? The beliefs and values thing. Um, I, I kind of look at the ego as the default program that's running our life. The second we were born, duck, on came that computer, right? How, think about it, all the stuff we've downloaded, all the stuff we've watched, seen through our eyes, experienced through the five senses, we're told by our parents, our relatives, people we held in esteem, school, the media. When you think of all of that, all of that sensory input, almost all of it uncensored but taken on board. All of that's got to go, because it's the default system, it's not us. Right? So when you think about it, you wake up in the morning, right? before you even get out of bed, he's there, the ego's there, right? Hello. Now, I have a long list for you to work on. Remember, we don't have enough money, remember, remember that? And we're getting older, and our health's not good, and this, and that, and that, and that, and that. That's even before we get out of bed, <laughs> right? And, when, and we'll talk about projection and so on, but right through the day then, if it's uninvestigated all this stuff, how much stuff are we making up out there, right? Unconsciously making up and then going, wow, look at that, that's real, oh, scary world. Oh. So much to defend and attack. Right? So that's why it's so important that we spend this time. Recently we, we gave a talk and it was so funny because this guy at, at the break I said, oh, how are we traveling to this guy? And this guy says, oh, it's very good, but you know, um, that ego stuff you, you talk about, you know? You should only spend 20 minutes on that, you know? Because it's, it's about who we are and we need to strengthen that and, you know? And I'm, my head's going, love, peace, brown rice, you know? <laughs> this is not about love, peace, brown rice. This is about undoing the ego, you know? And you cannot do a spiritual bypass around it, right? And there's a mm. huge difference between what the Course is talking about, which is moving through the stages of the development of trust and experiencing states of enlightenment. We can all sign up for State of Enlightenment 101. Touch the face of God 101. Up the mountain and bliss 101. All of us can do it. It's nothing special. Okay? All of us can do that. We can all go up the mountain, 
I have a lovely time, right? Oh, wow, I've touched the face of God. And it's true, I'm not trying to demean it, but I want to put this in context. At some point, you have to leave the mountain. You get in the car, you hit the traffic, right? Some guy cuts you off, right? The news, so many more people died, how much rainforest is being cut down. And by the time we get home, we walk in the door, and uh, it might be our son or our daughter that we've told a million times not to ne leave their gym shoes right there. They're right there as we open the door. We trip over them for the hundredth time. And, uh, and as soon as we see anybody at all, we're going, <laughs> What happened to that state? Where did that go? Yeah. See, you can't experience consistent peace and you can't remember who you are consistently without moving through the stages of the development of trust. Yeah. Yeah. Because at some point you have to come off that mountain. And when you do, wham! <laughs> right? And then what's worse is that the ego, with its beautiful mantra of seek and do not find, you see, says, and now we must enter a period of guilt. <laughs> Because you see, you blew a grand on that touch the face of God exercise. <laughs> now look how you're behaving and thinking. I'm going to kick your ass now. Until we sign up for the next touch the face of God exercise. See? Right? Okay? So we got to get real about not fooling around and, and playing around the edges, see? The ego wants you to play around the edges. In fact, one of the ego's things is the enlightened ego. <laughs> it, I mean, it, it loves, loves the spiritual that. journey. Loves it loves it. Loves it seeking. Loves, it. Oh. loves seeking. As you long know? as you don't find. I mean, okay? Right. All right. So the, the, you're here, which means you want to find. For a lot of other, for a lot of people, right? It's like this is this antenna, right? That goes, okay, uh, mung beans for health. That sounds good. We'll take that course. Yoga for whatever. That sounds good. Undoing the ego. Ooh, no, 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 no. I have a headache. <laughs> I've got this migraine that just came. The amount of people that we hear, oh, I was going to come, but I got this migraine. You know? Right? Because it knows, uh-oh, uh, you might find something. <laughs> and that's the last thing it wants for you, is to find anything. So part of this getting real exercise is us, you know, fronting up to, to those kind of home truths, right? Asking ourselves, Am I trying to be an enlightened ego, or do I really want to wake up? Right? And our exercise here is, yes, we do want to wake up. That's why we're all here. So we're going to look at it squarely in the face, which is what needs to be undone, what needs to be sorted out, mm -hmm. what needs to be relinquished. Right? Because in, interestingly, in all those other practices, There's no relinquishment. <laughs> There's no element of the surrender that's necessary. The giving over totally. Right? And th this is the beauty of the Course. This is why we l just love it so much. Because it really does nail that. that that's what we've got to do. Mm -hmm.